Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial or guide video here in Spaz YouTube. So today I'm gonna teach you on how to clean your bike, specifically the Yamaha M15, after a long ride. Okay, let's go. of areas in the bike that you need to check after a long ride that I would recommend to you know clean as soon as possible so that you can avoid future problems in the bike so that's what I call beginner maintenance for your Yamaha MT15 let me go ahead and show you what areas in the bike that you need to clean let's go Okay, one area and most important area of the bike that you need to check after a long ride. All of the muds, dirts, and grimes are gonna go to your chain. Okay, so the chain, the first important thing that you need to clean right after ng long ride. So the second area that you need to check after a long ride is actually this. The keyhole for your seat for the Yamaha FD15. Siyempre, uh, like my setup right here, I don't have, you know, a keyhole cover or a mud guard for my tires. So, siyempre, all of the dirt, the grimes is gonna go into my keyhole. Okay, so that's the second area that you need to clean. I'm gonna teach you on how to clean that if it gets stuck. Okay, next area or the third part where you need to check is actually the ignition key right here. Kasi minsan nasa stuck yan yung cover niya sa ignition key. So we're gonna check if it's okay or not. And syempre, the fourth item is actually the tank cover. So I'm gonna teach you on how to unstuck that, that area of the bike. Okay? Okay, the next area that you need to check as well and you need to clean is actually this the fork area right here you need to clean this the dirt and grime can damage the rubber part the rubber seal of the front forks then you'll have to change this okay so to avoid that you need to clean this immediately so the next part are actually very crucial which are your brakes you need to clean this especially ito yung brake discs okay and at the same time here you need to check double check syempre your, your brake pads clean this area also you need to check your brake fluids if it's good enough or not syempre hindi lang rear brake you have to check the front brake as well and last but not the least syempre we'll have to check all the wirings for uh, the bike especially if you have mini driving lights like mine check that if there are wirings that needs maintenance you know yung mga lumalabas na electrical tape na natatanggal so we need to you know check that replace that if needed be okay and at the same time you also need to check your radiator kasi uh, on the long ride, hindi natin inaasahan if it needs maintenance, if it needs uh, replacing, you can actually change it before your next ride para iwas sa accident. Okay? Yan lang yung mga areas na kailangan mong uh, i-check. So, chain, the back seat lock or the key, yung sa likod, uh, your ignition switch or ignition key, dyan. And then your gas tank cover, you need to check that. And then five is your uh, forks, make sure that it's clean, especially this part. Number six is your brakes, you need to check those as well. Number seven is your electrical and then your radiator area. So yeah, and first off that I would recommend uh, you to do right after the long ride is to you know spray the bike if you're not gonna clean it after the long ride 
just spray so that at least visible you know sand and grimes in your motorcycle are taken off so that's easier for you to clean it afterwards so after that if you're not gonna you know um, clean the chain uh, after the long ride if you're gonna clean the chain the next day I would recommend that you spray degreaser to your chain so, so that the chains won't rust overnight hindi ko napapakita sa inyo kung paano ko i-clean yan there are a lot of videos on YouTube you can check that out another part of the bike that you need to check as well is the mono shock on the rear end of the motorcycle ayan you need to clean this out ayan okay you need to clean that out so that you can check if okay pa ba yung shock or my oil leak yung shock that you need to replace immediately so you need to check as to actually yung lower part niya if there are leakage of oil or if it's just dirty you need to clean that as well Okay, one tip to identify if you need to clean the chain, okay, is to roll your uh, rear wheel and then listen to the chain. There. If it's dirty and full of grime and it needs cleaning, you can hear small popping sounds or may lagatok. It's a chain and it's very stiff to, you know, roll the wheels like that. Right now, it's already clean. So you can easily just, you know, roll the wheels like that. So, okay, so, okay na yung chain. We've put oil in it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let it soak for a couple of minutes. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you on how to uh, unstuck this. So, so as you can see it's already stuck um, the key is already there and it's very hard to twist and unlock the seat don't be afraid it's not yet broken just needs a little wiggle and lubrication what we're gonna use is syempre WD-40 underneath we're gonna spray the keyhole let it soak and then we're gonna go ahead and wiggle a bit until it comes loose another technique that you need to do is on the key put some WD-40 in it So successful tayo actually 10 tries ko na na winigol um, just keep doing everything put some lube on the key push it on the keyhole and then wiggle it and then take it out spray some couple of WD-40 on the keyhole and then press it out eventually it's gonna come off yan so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the, the back seat So, ito yung mechanism niya. Ayan. And usually, nakikita nyo, ayan siya. That's the part na nagsastuck. So, ayan. From the dirt and everything. Ayan. As you can see, kita nyo, may mga dirt yung ano, yung keyhole natin. So that's okay, as long as you keep lubricating it, I recommend to do it weekly, every week. Kung wala ka ng trabaho, during the Saturday and Sunday, put some lube in the keyhole and then twist it. Okay, and at the same time, syempre, lalagyan din natin ng, ano, ng lube. Yung ayan, yung keyhole na yan. Okay? So, after nyan, we're gonna clean up everything right here. Then we're gonna move on to the next one, eto. <laughs> I'm sure na experience chilling na stuck to. Okay, another thing to note is that if you're washing your bike, don't ever spray water in this area. Kahit ano pa, punasan nyo lang or just wipe um, clean cloth so that you can clean this area. Don't spray water in it, okay? So. Okay, in this area right here, um, this usually gets stuck. 
Luckily for now, syempre hindi siya stuck. Okay, the only technique is that when it's, this gets stuck, all you have to do is just push dito. Ayan, there's a click that will happen. There's a lock in there that usually gets corroded of the vapors from the fuel. All you have to do is just push down and then twist. Ayan, and then it will open. Okay, usually it will take you a couple of tries but keep on twisting and then pushing down. Okay, and make sure to not force the key kasi it will break your key okay okay so that's okay don't need to lubricate that okay all you have to do sometimes if it gets really hard to twist put some w40 on the key put it right here okay and then twist and don't put w40 on the keyhole itself because it will mix up with the fuel so just a small amount on the key put it here and then keep on twisting and make sure that you push down yeah oh, okay on the ignition key itself right here dito, the one that you're gonna use to power your bike um, these only get stuck if you haven't used the motorcycle or if you haven't opened the or the cover of the key for like about two to three days i've experienced that when i actually went on a vacation for almost one week and then i closed this and then it gets stuck all you have to do is just put wd-40 right here dito and not in here okay <laughs> just the small amount of the wd-40 and then twist as well until it moves and opens up okay so right now Okay pa naman siya. It doesn't need any lubrication. So, okay lang yan. You have to close the keyhole every time that you park or you're not using the motorcycle. Kasi, if there are small debris or dirt that's gonna go into your keyhole or even small stones, and it's gonna destroy the keyhole and you'll have to replace everything. Okay? So, avoid that by checking it regularly. Okay, when it comes to fork, syempre, uh, this is already clean when we wash the bike. All you have to do is just, you know, maintain and check this regularly. Make sure that it's clean. It doesn't have any dirts or grimes in it because it will destroy the rubber seal of the oil of the shock, of the fork shock. Okay? At the same time, syempre, we've also cleaned the uh, rear um, shock or the mono shock rear. So we have make sure that it's clean on the top and the bottom okay and then make sure that there's no oil leaking because if there is you'll have to change the whole mono shock okay remember when everything is done papanda rin mo yung motor and then you're gonna check if okay yung mga lights tayo maglinis mag basic maintenance ng Yamaha MT15 after a long ride or after a long storage ng bike niya. Siyempre, recap natin first you need to check and then lube your chain ayan and then number 2, siyempre yung keyhole and then siyempre third is yung tank natin. We need to make sure that we open and close it up every other day just to check na hindi siya corroded or if it's stuck or not. At the same time for dito, for the ignition key, make sure that we open and close it daily. If you are not using your bike, cover the keyhole to avoid small rocks or debris from going in and getting stuck inside the keyhole. Okay, so that's number three. And then number four, syempre yung ano natin, yung mga shocks natin. Front forks. 
make sure that this area is clean right here and then our rear uh, mono shock make sure that it's clean as well and check for leaking or misalignment of the shock itself okay other than that syempre yung mga lights natin katulad nito may need driving lights we need to check the external wires if okay pa siya if meron ng mga electrical tape na nalisisira we need to replace it with a new one and at the same time syempre yung radiator natin ingatan din natin and at the same time yung dito na component we need to check all those areas if may leakage ng oil or anything or, or if may sira so yan lang and last but not the least syempre you need to clean the brake brake this brakes the, the rear and then yung front natin yan so yan lang yung ano yung advice ko sa inyo i hope you learned a thing or two on how to clean and maintain your bike after a long ride or after a long storage okay so make sure that you sub to the channel and follow my social media accounts ride safe travel more i will see you guys in the next video okay bye